Since no one asked, and I really don't care if anybody did or not, I'm going to talk about how I made my um, torque strap. Now this is uh, one foot, uh, uh, where I put one foot. All right, you can see it's just this big old loop. Uh, maybe the steering wheel can give some uh, size difference. Maybe it's maybe two feet. It do may not be need need to be that big. But I just I like to give myself a lot of spare room, so it's just easy to put my foot into um, without really having to handle it too much. Um, so that's what I did. I made a it's about a two foot. Probably could be sh smaller. And then I sewed the heck out of it it's on the end here. It hasn't seemed to have loosened or broke or anything. And what I did is I, I like to play with my speedy stitcher. And I sewed it that way. Um, and I used the strongest str thread. This, this is, I got a black one too. It holds 12 inches uh, per stitch. So, you know, one stitch, 12 pounds, two stitches, 24 pounds, three stitches, 36, four stitches, 48 pounds, and so on. I probably, I stitched it a lot, maybe 50 times, so it's, it's going to have some really good strength. And that's on one foot. And then we'll, we'll follow the, the length. This will be uh, roughly where it goes over the shoulder. There's really nothing to identify where it goes over the shoulder because it doesn't really need to be. I played around with, um, you know, I think you can call it embroidery. Because <clears throat> I think, you know, if, if I could go commercial with this, it's going to need the label. And it doesn't need to be sewn onto the strap. That's what I did with my speedy stitcher right here. And you can read it pretty clearly. This took a couple of hours, I think. But it's, I mean... <laughs> Got a lot of spare time, a little too much. All right, but this is the other end of the <clears throat> the line here. This is the adjustable part. You only adjust it on one side. All right, so I sewed it a lot here, but this this isn't ne really necessary. I over sewed that. That's over engineering because that's just to hold the flap, that extra. So I have an extra f spare flap to make it adjustable, and I have it kind of shortened up, so I have a lot of slack. <clears throat> and then uh, the buckle. This is this is pretty key. You need the right kind of buckle. Some just don't do it. This one, surprisingly to me, is strong enough to hold even my my biggest uh, pushes against it. Or whatever my whatever I try to do, it it just doesn't budge. And it's easy to adjust. It's like what a, a car seat or something. Just open her up and and then uh, adjust it as as you need. However, however low you want to go, um, you can you can do that. I have it. I have this. This whole thing is probably the whole strap in, in general is probably like six, 16 inches, 16 feet long, and then I chose a two inch width because uh, when it goes over the shoulder, you want you want wide. Then the one inch will hurt the shoulder if, when you start pushing against it. The two inch is a lot more comfortable. And I believe this is that the ni nylon. It's it's not the other poly polypropylene uh, strap. The polypropylene is a little too too rough, a little too hard. This is a nice and soft one, and this is a little more pricey because of that. And let me also mention that you can use any color. I'm not stuck with yellow. <clears throat> the website I go to for my for my straps. Uh, you, I could choose rainbow color if I wanted to. There's every color imaginable. I just happen to have yellow, um, just because I was. I've had this strap for a while, just kind of playing with it, and <clears throat> I've used this strap for so many weird things. But now it's kind of settled in as my um, twerk strap. So you have you have this this one side that has all the slack and you do all the adjustments as quick adjustments you can adjust while you're while you're exercising you can force yourself low for a little bit then and, and allow yourself some slack and, and then uh, squat a little higher up anything to stop your knees from bending I have this one so long that I, I could kind of stand up all the way and, and I like work my calves too if I wanted to just for a little resistance for that 
yeah, that's that's how you'd put this thing together. I'm gonna stop here.